Hot temperatures and shin-tangling cattail swamps are the challenges our dogs face near Lake Oahe in South Dakota. We're chasing wild birds for a couple days at Brown's Hunting Ranch. Real wild ringnecks. I'm Scott Linden, and today is the National Shooting Sports Foundation presents Wing Shooting USA. If your idea of pheasant hunting includes cut or standing corn, this hunt will change your perception and tempt you to make a visit. Pack plenty of water, tighten your chokes, and come on along. I met Mark and Robin Broughton and their wire hairs at Pheasant Fest years ago. We finally found a slot in our schedules to try this storied habitat. Vast prairies and limitless cattail sloughs hold plenty of birds. It's a matter of luck, though, getting close enough for a decent shot. And I confess to trying a few that I shouldn't have. Beating through the jungle of stalks is an exercise in futility. The go-to strategy is work the edges and hope some nearby birds get up within range. Let's see how it works. Oh, sounds good. <laughs> Usually we've got a couple up. There already. you go. There you go. Hen. Hen. Rooster. 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 Bang. That had been bad luck anyway. Three birds up there. He's maybe still working a bird. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There yep, goes. There goes. I think I better be ready. I only count one mutt. Rooster! <sighs> Woo. Another rooster. The wire hairs have had to adapt to conditions. Working relatively close, doing a lot of tracking, some flushing at frequent points, though we were hard pressed to see some of them. You tracking a bird there, you think? Rooster! Come on, fly our way. Oh, Benelli was in there pointing them. Man, oh man. Oh, and bang. Bang. Good dog. I've got Benelli, I don't know where Beretta is. Right here. Rooster! Dead bird, get it! Uh, we hit, we hit it, but... It'll go down. The first big patch of cedars. He went down soft. We may as well make our way up towards that and see if we can't jump him again, or he might hold up in the trees there. Because I think we got a couple in him. That might be wishful thinking, Mark. All those birds fly in here, probably within about an hour. That'd be a sight to see. Well, let's go see if we can find this sure. one, and then we'll just kind of skirt back up okay. that way. Come on. Find him. Ooh, where'd he go? Which way'd he go? Which way'd he go? Turns out that bird actually wasn't hit at all, as you'll see right about here. That's him. No bird, come. Good girl. And he's still not hit. Well, I did my best. <laughs> he's still flying good. And probably going to brag about it tonight on the roost to all the other pheasants. Go to the next spot. We should get a... Another flush or two out of here. I like. I'm hoping. Odds are. Yeah. Maybe the birds will be more cooperative there. That's coming up on Wing Shooting USA. This Land is Your Land is brought to you by the new DogEnergyBar.com. South of Duluth, Minnesota is northern Wisconsin and the Douglas County Forest, a haven for rough grouse hunters. I've battled my way through publicly accessible, carefully managed mixed-age timber and endless miles of walking paths for roughies and a bonus woodcock here and there. I have the scars to prove it. Put a bell on your dog and pack extra batteries for your GPS. 
You'll be in gnarly, rank habitat that will challenge your body and your shooting abilities. I know, I've been there and I can't wait to get back. Wing Shooting USA is brought to you by Happy Jack Animal Health Products, taking care of man's best friend for over 70 years. TheDogEnergyBar.com, fuel your dog's top performance. Yeti, built for the wild. Fiocchi, quality ammunition since 1876. We're along Upper Ray Creek here at the Ruggs Ranch, our headquarters for this season again. One of the reasons I love Ruggs Ranch is the diversity of habitat, including the mallard water right in front of me. The pair just got up a couple seconds ago. The old tree still in the background, standing sentinel over everything that happens in the Ray Creek Valley. Isn't that one of the reasons we go? Yes. Now we're going to Brown's Hunting Ranch in Gettysburg, South Dakota, one of my favorite places. Hadn't been there before, but had been trying for so long, as you saw. One of the biggest challenges there, the incredible habitat. Thick cattails, lots of them getting into our lungs, our eyes, our nostrils, and the dogs working their little stubby, fuzzy tails off. Hope you're enjoying it. It was a challenge, but it was worth it. Now, let me give you this website wingshootingusa.org. Lots of things to do there, including finding a place to hunt, but that's where you enter the Take Your Friend Hunting Sweepstakes. This year's grand prize, a trip to Ruggs Ranch. You will not regret it. While you're there, ask us a question, just like Mark Mapes. We answer some here on the show, and we answer a lot of them on the Facebook page where all of our viewers get to kick in their answers as well. Great discussions get started out of that one. Mark asks, what are the signs that tell you it's the time to rest or maybe even quit hunting your dog that day? Mark, I'll have your answer coming up later in the show. In the meanwhile, remember there's another couple prizes, the CZ shotgun and also a season's worth of canine active, high performance anti-inflammatory for the dog. Yeah, he deserves it just as well. Enter to win all of those prizes and ask your own question at wingshootingusa.org. Time for the Upland Checklist brought to you by Cabela's, your source for dog gear. I choked my new CZ USA Redhead Premier Shotgun, mod and full to cope with the birds flushing at distance. And loaded Fiocchi Golden Pheasant ammo in size four for the same reason. With luck, I'll put a ring neck in my Cabela's Instinct Prairie Runner vest. And I fueled the dogs along the way with my new Dog Energy Bar. Let's see if we can get closer to the birds in this next spot. We'll add Lanny, the lab, for insurance. Lanny, get in there. Go find some birds. Is he in there, Beretta? Benelli, come. Get in there. Flush him off. Where is he? Nice little runway in here. Hen! Hen! That's Good what she girl. was tracking. She's still yep. on point, too. Yep, you. Hen! Hen! Good girls. Yeah, they're getting up up ahead here. Because she's pointing again. Good girl. Good dog. Hooey. Well, I've inhaled enough cattail fluff for the next couple of seasons. Yeah, you'll you'll be sitting at the table coughing up uh, cattail balls like a cat. <laughs> well, the dogs would be happy. There's water in this one. Rooster! Ooh, that looked like a crippled one. Yeah. Dead bird! Come on, dead bird! Find him! Right there, Mark. Find him, Beretta. Where is he? Good boy, Lanny. Drop. Good boy. Good job. Cattails. Look at that. <laughs> Cattail fluff rooster. <laughs> wow. Next one. Well, that was quite an interesting little sequence. <laughs> well, I can see already you don't let the grass grow under your feet around here. Watch that one. High nose she a little bit. This. Yeah, be ready. 
and Wild birds and big walks await you at Browns. Crops, cattails, and CRP are all in a day's work for you and the dogs. Eye-popping views from the lodge are a bonus. A geology lesson and more cattails coming up on Wing Shooting USA. Many still call this breed the French Brittany and its roots are in the small short-tailed dogs of that country. But its history also has roots in England. Wow, woodcock hunters would bring their pointing dogs to France and due to a quarantine couldn't bring them home. Mother Nature eventually took its course and the resulting dogs became the Epagnol Breton. Got one? Share your photo on our Facebook page and you're entered to win an assortment of Happy Jack dog care products. Oh, there's a rooster. Bang. They can tell That's... the difference. Bang. <sighs> And Rooster! Rooster! Yeah. Well, that was nice. Good girl, Benelli. I think we got a lock up here. Nice. Oh, Rooster! Oh, safety! <laughs> safety. <laughs> Good girl. Right, show us that other one you're tracking there. Come on. Find him. Where is he? Where is he? As a runner, yeah, there's a pretty good trail in there. Oh, so, yep. oh, we gotta give it a try. Benelli, come here. Yeah, you don't even want water. Lanny well, does. That's used to be the bottom of the ocean here. These are seashells. Oh. Fossil seashells. I see shells. That's why it's so fertile too, yeah. I'll bet. Okay, let's see if we find some more. So out further east, these lakes are all, um, I guess, just groundwater. Yeah. That's is that pretty, the same here? Yeah, that's pretty much, this is just what we get from snow and runoff. Yeah. Well, we've had so dry this year that Got just enough rain for to keep the crops happy, and that was about it. Really? Rooster! Dead okay, bird! I got that one out. marked really good. Dead bird, get him! Who's got it? <whistles> Dead bird, who's got it? <whistles> Lanny Beretta! Good boy, Lanny. Lanny's got it. Good boy. Good boy. Nice shot. Thank you. Feeling better already. They don't uh, shed water like ducks. Oh, gosh, no. <laughs> a lot of water out there. Well, that Whew. was a good time. Whew. Well, we got a ways to go to the truck yet. And they all lived happily ever after, except for that bird. Oh! Rooster! Even the dogs look disappointed. You'd think I'd learned by now. Let's call it a day. New day, new spot, new dog, next on Wing Shooting USA. <laughs> Wing Shooting USA is brought to you by the Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks, and Tourism, ksoutdoors.com. There's no place like Kansas for mixed bag opportunities. The National Shooting Sports Foundation. Win a free hunting trip at wingshootingusa.org. 
CZ USA shotguns. Shoot safe, shoot often, shoot a CZ. And the dogenergybar.com. Fuel your dog's top performance. Right on top of Upper Ray Creek here at the Ruggs Ranch, our home place for this season again. And again, one of the great reasons is that Hungarian partridge habitat up there. Talk about habitat. If I never hunt cattails again, it'll be too soon. I love you, Mark. I love you, Robin. But I don't think I need any more of the cattail habitat from Brown's Hunting Ranch. Now, there's lots of other stuff, too, but we thought we'd show you what became a quite challenging hunt for both us, but God bless them for those dogs. They work so hard. And you know, it's about 10 degrees hotter down there than it is up here where we're breathing in all the cattail fluff. Hope you're enjoying the show so far and seeing the dogs work in a slightly different way than they would in more open habitat. You know, that's just one of the things I enjoy about hunting at places like that or at Ruggs Ranch, by the way, which is the destination for our Take Your Friend Hunting Sweepstakes. Enter to win at wingshootingusa.org. A weekly prize as well, that Canine Active High Performance Anti-Inflammatory. No side effects, one of the best things about it, for your dog. And then another prize, two CZ shotguns. One for you and one for your friend that you take hunting. Now while you're there, of course, ask a question. Some I answer here, just like Mark Mapes, and some we answer together at the Facebook page. Mark asks about when or what kind of signs will help you decide when it's time to quit hunting, for your dog at least. In hot weather, it's pretty obvious. And I, could I define hot weather as about 50 degrees or more for a dog. If they're panting and it won't stop even when you rest them or cool them off, get out of there. Let them settle, cool them off. If it's just fatigue, it's a little bit harder to notice. Watch your dog if he's walking at heel a little bit more or he's slowing down in the field, that's another good sign. The other one, disobedience. If a great dog all of a sudden decides not to follow your orders, it's probably because he's tired or hot. Be careful out there. Always err on the side of caution with your dog, our best hunting buddies. Be safe. Enjoy the rest of the show. Taylor Johnson keeps things simple with store-bought shake and bake. Cajun flavor if you can find it. Shake, then bake. Oh, then eat. Hunt him up, Manny. We may have an opportunity here to shoot sharp tail also. Would they be in this cover here? Or no, they... no, they'll be yeah. they'll be right on the these edges. Oh nice. Yeah. So a short-tailed hand is fair game. Yep. He'll do like yours. You'll you'll know when he's birdie. Easy. Easy. Rooster! Nice shot! Good boy! Fetch. Here. Good boy! Nice job. Give. Good boy, Manny. Go find one for me now. Wowee. Rooster! Rooster! Mark. Rooster! Mark. Dead bird, I got that one marked. Manny, dead bird, fetch! Rooster. Keep going straight I'm to trying. your right just a little <laughs> bit. Dead bird, fetch! Give. Good boy. It's wet out there. <laughs> he said, Dad, I thought we were pheasant hunting, not uh, duck hunting. Wet roosters. Conserve game. Hunt with a trained, versatile dog. Hey, Manny cool. Doodle. Good boy. Good boy. All right, well, he's not dallying. No. Nor dillying. Extra kibble for that wire hair tonight. As you can hear, I finally added a bell on Manny to supplement the puffs of cattail fluff I was using to track him. Oh! Bird! Dead bird! Right to the wire, I mean to the pole. 
and Mark is finally on the board. Oh my. There we go. There's another. Fetch! Fetch! Nice. Keep your eye on that one. And another. Fetch! We'll just keep going on the edge here. And all of a sudden, Mark is having a pretty great day. Manny, too. Does Manny have one more find and retrieve in him? Watch him. Yep. Watch him. Yep. Do I have one more decent shot in me? Track. Where'd that bird go? Track. Where'd he go? Yep. Nice try. Yeah. Well, we, we're not done yet. He, yep. But we really were done, at least with the shooting and maybe our battle with cattails. Glad I brought the bell. We thought bullying our way through those stalks and choking on the fluff was tough. Then we looked at our dogs, the gunk in their eyes, their dry throats, scabbed eyelids, and skinned up forelegs. They'd certainly do the heavy lifting and are glad to. Propelled by genetics and loyalty, our dogs fight adversity and put themselves in more danger than we ever will. And are we grateful? Thanks to my crew, Tad and Lynn, who also had to keep cattail fluff off the lenses. And to our friends, Mark and Robin Broughton, and everyone at Brown's Hunting Ranch. We talk dogs and birds all day on Facebook and my blog, scottlindenoutdoors.com. Hope to see you there. Thanks for watching.